This is not clickbait. We can see here reported today, the 10th of January, lots of different news sources have the story that police are now going to visit 1,000 homes in a crackdown on illegal Premier League streams and fire sticks. I mean, I've never heard of anything like this. I mean, there were some news articles posted a few months ago where certain IPTV sellers their premises or their properties were raided as part of a, a bigger investigation but here what it implies is people just watching those illegal streams and how going to get a knock on the door i mean i really thought it was a joke but we can see here reported today um, customs have been identified and this is always the worrying part because if they can identify you if they have your address details if they have your IP address and through the IP address it's very easy to contact the ISP and find out who was using this IP address at a particular time. If they have those details then you can see that if there was pressure from the legal authorities then ISPs would give up their data but we can see it says that customers have been identified as part of a major ongoing criminal investigation and the police will knock on the doors of these people to warn them that they could face prosecution. Now, I don't know if this is just scare tactics where they could, you know, release this particular you know, news story, warn people about this is what we're going to do, hoping that when people see the news, they may just get scared and, and stop, you know, using IPTV or you know, these different sports streams. So I personally don't think it's likely, but let's just have a quick look at the article. So... We can see here that police will visit a thousand homes this week. So it's actually this week, guys. So, I mean, if there is a knock on the door, you don't know if it's going to be an, an Amazon delivery, a friend or a family. FBI, open up! <laughs> now, it says here that they have identified customers from a huge database in a major ongoing criminal investigation and will knock on the doors of these people to warn that they could face prosecution. So a couple of points there. So firstly, they've managed to identify customers. So again, the key distinction here is we're not talking about sellers, you know, people selling illegal IPTV or maybe selling, you know, loaded fire sticks or Android boxes pre-configured with, you know, those kind of streams. Um, those you can imagine because, you know, you have sellers making large amounts of money, lots of people, lots of transactions. So very easily you can see why the police or the authorities will be after those. Here what they're saying is they've actually identified the customers. So the customers of those illegal streams have been identified and that's the plan for them that they're going to target those people instead. And it does say quite clearly that they're just going to warn you. So it's not like they're going to knock on your door and try to arrest you because what's the crime or the specific thing they're going to try and arrest you for. But we can see clearly they're saying it's just to warn you that you could face prosecution. So you watched a football match or you watched a movie, you know, through illegal means, you could face prosecution. Now it says that the latest uh, or this latest clampdown against a thousand individuals comes after raids by West Mercia Police against a UK based illegal streaming service offering entertainment and sports via modified boxes. I mean, they say modified boxes and then they say so-called fire sticks and subscriptions. So I think a bit of confusion there, but essentially they're saying, yes, those preloaded fire sticks or potentially even Android boxes, the ones that come with those subscription services, illegal subscription services installed, they're the ones that they're going to target. And because of those police raids, they're able to gather information, potentially gather customer information and now using that information they've now identified you know a thousand people they're going to target first and knock on those doors i mean this one i just have to stop here and say i mean in the uk like, like in all places there's obviously crime there's you know robberies there's house burglaries there's you know violence there's all sorts of different things that the police could make a difference they could help out they could try and catch these criminals of these violent crimes but instead of doing that they're going to knock on the door and say why were you watching the football match on saturday i mean it's crazy but you can see because these big companies these you know the premier league or these other film studios 
because they feel like they're losing money, they're losing big money because people are watching their content illegally, because they have the money, they can pay for these kind of you know, investigations and stuff. So it ultimately, it's always just about the money and these big companies with their big pockets, they don't want anybody accessing their content for free. The new purge is against people try to watch the Premier League games, football from all over Europe and other sports and movies on the cheap. I mean, obviously, there's some applications which are free, which give you access to this kind of content. And there's others where you pay a very small, well, I mean, I say very small compared to the official prices. You'd pay only uh, you know, a couple of dollars or a couple of pounds uh, per month and you get access to this content. It keeps going down. Okay, so now we have some names. So it says, police have joined forces with anti-piracy investigators from FACT, which is the Federation Against Copyright Theft in Operation Radar. And the knock on the door is likely to come as a huge shock. I mean, I think people would be shocked if somebody's knocking on the door and saying... The other question is obviously how are they going to prove that it was you watching it because it's not like they're going to knock on the door whilst you're watching, but if they have stats, maybe they've got your IP address or maybe they have other information, they'll try to use that to scare you that we can see what you're doing online. And this is one of the reasons why people typically do stream with the VPN, whereby with that VPN, you can change your IP address, you can hide your online activity. And it just means that if somebody's trying to identify you online, I wouldn't say it's impossible, but it is a lot harder with a VPN on. Now it says that they may potentially or they will potentially be served with notices, be ordered to stop immediately, and be warned of serious consequences if they carry on watching in one of the biggest clampdowns ever on illegal streaming. Like, yeah, so definitely in the last couple of years, I've never seen anything like this, whereby they're actually going to target people just watching streams. And I just mentioned some names here that Paul and Stephen were sentenced to 16 months of watching illegal streams. Now, I don't recall that. I don't know if they were also selling boxes or selling streams, but if you guys were aware of this story, then do leave me a comment below. I still would argue that somebody selling a service, somebody selling boxes or somebody selling, you know, IPTV services, illegal IPTV services, I really don't think they can be in the same category or the same bracket as somebody just clicking on a stream or using a, an app. I really can't see that the two would be categorized the same. Now it says that the crackdown comes with the support of major organizations like the Premier League and broadcasters such as these ones, BT Sport. Now it says an Amazon. Now somebody did actually message me about this that because obviously Amazon make Fire Sticks and Fire Sticks are one of the most popular devices because of that ability to sideload, because of that ability to uh, customize the Fire Stick. I mean, compared to like something like a Roku where you're pretty much locked down or maybe an Apple device, the Fire Sticks, because they run Android, you can sideload on them. You can install your own applications. And this is typically how people sideload those applications, which give them access to that content. But what the person was saying was, would Amazon ever give up, you know, their customer records or, you know, people you know, buying fire sticks. And personally, I really can't see that happening, but do leave me a comment below if you think Amazon would give up their, you know, customer data. Here we can see on another news site that the police are going to visit a thousand homes that have identified several customers in a bid to warn people that what they're doing is illegal. I mean, overall guys, I do think it's a, it's a pretty um, crazy thing that's happening that the police actually have the time to visit people like this, but, as we know, when money is involved, when you know these big companies, big operators, because they've got the backing, because they've got the funding, they can pay for all sorts of things because from their point of view, they are losing money. They're not happy that people are accessing their content, their copyright content for free or, or at a reduced price. They'll do everything in their power to you know stop those operations. And now it looks like they're taking it to the next level of even warning people, the end user or the consumer that, what you're doing is not right. You should stop here. And if you don't stop here, you may potentially face action. And lastly, um, this is probably gonna sound like a plug. Well, it probably is, but just in case you didn't know that you can very easily change your IP address, an easy way for you to stay anonymous and to stop your ISPC, what you're doing is to use a VPN. IP Vanish is a VPN that I personally use. And right now they are doing a crazy promotion whereby you can get complete protection for all of your devices with unlimited bandwidth, really fast speeds, 
at just under four dollars a month so at that price point to protect all of your devices to stay anonymous online to change your ip address to access geo-locked content or with confirmed zero data logging i think it's definitely worthwhile checking out so please do leave me a comment below and let me know if this is just scare tactics or are you actually concerned about what the police plan to do do leave me a comment below let me know and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon thanks